are here in Hollywood Life and 360 Productions next to Michael Buffett. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm not sure I heard. I could hear what you said because it's loud here. We're between rounds, the main event. It's been a great night at Avalon Hollywood and a great venue for boxing. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm here with my nephew Braxton, oh, nice. my wife, our friend Sophia, Radio Rahim over here. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> so tell me, what do you think about these amazing shows at 360 Productions? They've done a great job, and, and I thought all the fights were good. Um, you know, the uh, the commission is put on the uh, really helped out with the you know come through with those great California officials and everything. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next fight here. I love it. You should be there too, because you're an amazing announcer. For me, it's a busman's <laughs> holiday just to come and relax and enjoy the fights, and a great crowd, great fans. So which one is your favorite fighter tonight? Uh, you know, I, I don't want to put that label of so many great fighters. We had, uh, what, a total of uh, 14 fighters in yeah. seven fights. So uh, I'm going to say I love them all. <laughs> Triple G. Pardon me? Triple G. Oh, oh, you mean my favorite fighter everywhere? Uh, so many great guys. Triple G right now is doing well. Anthony Joshua in Great Britain. Uh, uh, so many really, really hot fighters out there in, in the business today. I want to thank you so much for this interview. I know you were watching the show right now. Can you say hi to everybody watching you from Hollywood Life? Hey, I want to say hi to everybody watching Hollywood Life, right? And let's get ready for some more boxing. Thank you so much, and let's continue here with more Hollywood Life. Here in Hollywood, and with more celebrities, we find here a Radio Rahim next to me. How are you tonight? I am fantastic. The favorite thing in my life is good fights, and Tom Loeffler has brought good fights here to Hollywood. I'm a Hollywood native, I'm enjoying my time here. There's nothing better than a good mix up right here in the middle of the city. So, tell me, what do you think about the fighters tonight? These guys are coming for bloodlust. Like, they are fighting like their families are here, their kids are here. <laughs> They're fighting for pride tonight, which is sometimes the best motivation. We see all these fights on television for money, and we see all these fights on television for positioning, but when you fight for pride, there's nothing more common human value than wanting to be the man on the night. And all these guys tonight want to be the man. I know you're a good critical. What do you think about these girls' fighters? Fantastic! Look, credit to Loeffler for putting girls on the car. Like, I have to admit, I work in this sport. It's a misogynist sport. Women don't get as many shots as they should. Loeffler had two great fights with four great women on the card, and they're well-deserved. These girls got a shot to be seen, and they performed, and that's all you can ask for from anybody. Well done, well done. I want to see more women in the ring because they come to fight. Which one is the best fighter for you? The best fighter? It changes with every Saturday night. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> so, so, okay, so which ones you think are the best? I mean, you're very critical. Uh, um, typical. No, actually, okay, I'll give you the criteria for the best fighter, which is not the common accepted view. Most people want an undefeated record. Most people want a polished guy who doesn't get hit. He just hits and not be hit. I want a guy who goes in there and fights, win or lose, puts it all on the line and leaves it all in the ring. To me, every Saturday night, whoever does that is the best fighter. Uh, you're good. You're a good one. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Where we can follow you? Thank you so much. I'm Radio Raheem. Just follow me around Hollywood. I'll be wherever the fights are, you'll find me. And you're welcome to stop and say hello. Hey, any fighter ever want to punch you for say something mean? I train six days a week because eventually, I've been fortunate up until this point, but somebody's going to take a swing at me. And when they do, I'm going to have just enough reflexes to duck and run. Oh, you are good. Thank you so much. I continue to call your life. We continue here in Hollywood Life, and I'm with girls, and we're going to ask what they think about girls' fights. How are you? What do you think about girls' fights? 
I think it's amazing and I think it's very empowering and I think this generation should definitely support. Um, I think Alvina White is up and coming and I, I wish her all the luck and I think she's going to win. So, uh, watch out. I love it. What do you think? Uh, but about the girls' fight? Female fight, I think it's um, quite exciting. Yeah, yeah, my first time. What do you think about the girls' fight? That's why I'm here. Girl power. <laughs> do you like the girls' fight? I love it. We should definitely be supporting women, for sure. I love it. What do you think about the girls' fight? I think it's amazing what girls can do nowadays. Girl power. Hey, Shakira, what do you think about the girls' fight? <laughs> I think it's great. They should continue bringing more females to fight. <laughs> Tell she's Shakira and makes me America ready. <laughs> so, girl power! Okay, we continue here in Hollywood Live and this amazing 360 production, Tom Laffer. Let's continue here with more Hollywood Live. Hollywood Live here in 360 Productions. Next to me, Lord, how are you tonight? So good. Really so, good. Really good right now because I'm under an air conditioning vent and it feels fantastic. <laughs> so tell me, what do you think about these amazing shows brought in the 360 Productions? I think Tom is doing a great job. I mean, it's great to bring the fights to the city. Anytime I can come watch some fights and I don't have to get on a plane, I'm happy about it. And uh, this is a great place to scout and watch the up and coming fighters and see who's next. You know, you never know who's up and coming. Who's your favorite fighter? Right now or all, t all time? Whatever you think, right now. <laughs> right now, I like Triple G a lot. Like, Triple, Triple G's my favorite. He's my pound for pound number one. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what, uh, what the future holds for the middleweight division because there's a lot of confusion now. Uh, what do you think about Canelo and Triple, Triple G fighting next? It doesn't look like it's going to happen. I have to talk to Tom and get the inside stuff, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And honestly, everybody knows Gennady won the first fight, so it doesn't necessarily mean anything to him minus the money. But this, uh, I tell you, this Canelo Danny Jacobs fight is going to be interesting because I don't think that Danny is an easy fight. And I definitely don't think he's an easy fight for you if you're coming off of a, a, of a potential juicing and you have to fight for real. Danny's a tough customer. That's right. That's right. So anything coming new, any projects, anything coming new? Yeah, I got a few things coming. We got, uh, I got, to, I get to play the voice of Raphael for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles oh. coming out on uh, September 18th on Nickelodeon. And I got Ballers coming out on uh, August 12th. Can you say hi to everybody watching you over there, Hollywood Live? Hello, Hollywood Live. It's Omar Miller. Enjoy. Thank you so much. I'll continue here in Hollywood Live. <laughs>